Hi everyone and welcome to the Floss Marketing School. Today we are going to talk about the measurement plan and we are going to see for a given website how we can implement it. The example I'm going to take is the one of Matomo Analytics, which is a platform in order to measure the performances of your website. So uh, let's get started. Okay, uh, so what you need to do first and to know is uh, how you can create a measurement plan. So the first step that you need to do is to browse the website. So in my case here, the client is a non-profit organization, which is helping other non-profit organization about, uh, let's say, digital um, in, uh, in a general way. Um, okay, so this is uh, a website in written in, in French, but I'm going to make the translation. It's going to be all right. So the first step that you need to do with the measurement plan is really to have kind of a foretaste of what the website is about and what are the different interactions that you can measure with uh, your analytic solution or any other solution. Here, for example, you can really track uh, a lot of things with uh, an analytic solution such as Matomo, such as the fact that the mouse is hovering this given image, the fact that a visitor will scroll down the page, the fact that um, this button is getting higher when I'm moving my mouse over it, the fact that I'm clicking on it, and so on and so forth. But really, when you define your measurement plan, you focus on the main objectives of the organization or the client who actually ask uh, you to realize this project and uh, you take some notes okay so this is the first step in the measurement plan you really investigate all the different urls which are located on the website and for each of them every time that there is something which just ring a bell uh, for you in terms of uh, tracking measurement then uh, you just write it down within the given document. So for example, here, if I go on this given page, I will notice that here you have a search bar uh, knowing what people are entering within this given search bar is kind of critical. So that's the kind of thing I want to enter within my measurement plan. And this is what I did up here, right? Like listing, okay, I have a site search, so I need um, to have it, or at least I need to take some notes about it. And here, okay, so this is just a piece of advice to really mention what is the difficulty in order to uh, track this given interaction and as well if it's important or, or not, because there are many things that you can measure, but probably they are not all critical. So here by browsing the website, um, this is all uh, the things that I saw. And um, what really grabbed my attention here is that, uh, first of all, they have some a lot of uh, outlinks on their website and some of them are not uh, well tracked so I need to keep a record of it in order to inform them that they will get some data which will not be tracked properly and as well uh, what I found out which is very interesting is that they have a lot of forms so definitely the forms are the things that uh, you have an interest in tracking so that's why I mentioned all of them uh, over here so some of them are not let's say form as we expect within the website so for example if i go over here um, let's say that here i have um, a link that you can see up here and if i click on it as you can see i'm getting out of the website okay this one is not a form in itself but it's uh, giving you an idea this one is a real form probably okay and if i go on the home page i think it was on the home page if I go down the page, I will see that, okay, da, da, da. okay, here, for example, I have like two links. I subscribe as a non-profit organization or I subscribe as a company. And if I click on it, I will see that I will uh, go once more on an outlink where I can fill in the form. Okay, so definitely I'm interested in, in measuring all that out. So I'm just taking all my notes in order to go to the meeting with the client and to say, okay, look, this is what I found out and this is what I think is interesting to track with Matomo Analytics. And during this meeting, uh, the client will probably tell you what is uh, important for him or her and what is, of course, not, um, not very important. But in any cases, you will have done your job here because from an analyst point of view, you will have listed everything that you want. Okay. Once you have this, those notes which are taken, you need to define the measurement plan. So the measurement plan is the document which is uh, summarizing all the different tracking code that you want to implement on the website in order to measure all 
that out. And in fact, here you need to have, of course, a good knowledge of the given solution. So for example, here for Matomo, just to let you know that Matomo by default cannot know everything that you want to collect and is tracking some data by default. Those are the ones that you can see over here and the one which are written as optional are the one which require additional tracking code. So just to give you one example, if for this given website, okay, this one, you would like to know um, how many pages are loaded. For example, that's part of the default package of Matomo Analytics because by, with Matomo Analytics, you get the title and you get the URL. But let's imagine now that you would like to know how many people actually filling in uh, some forms or even for the forms that I was showing you which were uh, redirecting to uh, the Google form for example here that's the kind of thing that uh, you don't have full information in Matomo you know that people went to docs.google.com but you don't know what this form is about and that's typically the kind of thing that you would like to push to Matomo as what we call events okay so when you learn a little bit what is the solution that you would like uh, to send the data to, you will be able actually to fill this measurement plan accordingly. So here in my case, I want to deploy one tracking code, which is Matomo uh, page view tracking code on all pages. Okay, so that will be the first line of my measurement plan. Then as a second thing, I would like to track um, clicks which are made on those buttons which are redirecting to Google Forms. And here I put uh, some extra information, the documentation in order to explain how to deploy this given tracking code because it requires a bit of additional tracking code. In our case, we're going to do it through a TMS, so it's going to be easier. And then we have general uh, forms on our website, so I need to deploy as well this given tag. And then I need to add an exception because as we saw formerly there was as well search form and you don't want the search form to be pushed uh, to this uh, given event because um, it's already uh, registering the search. Okay, so once you define this documentation which represents all the different tracking code that you need to deploy in order to fulfill all those different needs that either you find out and either the client find out, uh, then you need to implement the measurement plan. And implementing the measurement plan means that actually you're going to deploy those given tracking code, but you're not going to do it like this. You're going to for that um, test if that works because you don't want to publish everything without the agreement of the final customer and this is what we are going to do right now right now we are going to track um, this we are going to deploy those given additional uh, two tracking code that you can see up here and for this we're going to go within matomo and within the tag manager so normally by default there is already the all pages uh, tags which is uh, deployed so that's the one that you can see up here which means that here in my specific case data are already recorded by uh, the non-profit organization okay so that's what you can see up here okay i get already all my visits coming in but as you can see uh, the data which are collected are not that um that great for example that's the case here it's redirected to this url but it doesn't give us more information about this given URL you see here it's sending to docs.google.com but I have no idea what this form is about I know that it was on the partner page but that's the only thing that I know here for example this is this is me so um, you may feel a bit frustrated because you see okay this data this given user is currently polluting um, all the other uh, data but just to let you know that with Matomo within admin you have the possibility within the privacy setting to just select this given uh, visitor and to delete it out of all the traffic out so with Matomo it's fine if you are doing some tests um, as a given user as far as you can identify yourself and then remove yourself from the traffic okay so now let's uh, try to implement our measurement plan so we said that we were interested in having a tag which was called the Matomo event click, which was measuring the clicks made on buttons sending to uh, Google Forms. So that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to create a new tag. 
over here, we are just going to select the Matomo Analytics tag. We're going to give this name. Then uh, Matomo configuration means that this is the website to which we're going to send the data to. So we, we leave it like this, then events. Then here we need to inform what are the category, the action and the name. So in our case, that's going to be what we define up here. So it's, um, it's a form. Okay, intent to participate, and that's it. So let's go for it. Okay, so we go for form, go over here, and we say, okay, category form. Actually, it's form or uh, documentation because they have two kind of documentation, uh, two kind of doc Google uh, resources on this website. Okay, here you're going to go for the action, which is intent to participate or more information. Information. So here clearly I could find a way to divide those two events, but I'm not going to do it for the sake of this uh, video. And now it's going to be a click text, and this one's going to be a variable because what I want to push is the information on which uh, the name of the button on which people clicked on. So here I'm going to select the click text because when I'm on this given website, for example here, the information that I would like to push is this one, right? I subscribe as a non-profit organization or I subscribe as a professional because those two links are sending to a Google form, but they are located on the same page. So when I'm analyzing with the default data of Matomo, I know that from this web page, as we saw before, I received some clicks um, from it sending to the Google form, but I don't know which link was concerned. So thanks to this variable that I'm defining up here, I'm making I'm making the difference. Okay. Uh, now I need I need to define when this given tag will be deployed. So in my case, it's when there is a click which is happening on a link, and this link is then pushing to um, to a Google uh, form. So it's going to be, okay, when I click on something, okay, and it's a link, okay, so I'm going to say Google link, click, okay, and it's going to be when the page URL on which I'm going to redirect it to, so it's uh, click, click destination URL, okay, and equals, and in my case, it's going to be, oops, Okay, docs.google.com, okay. So this tag's not gonna be perfect because as you saw, this one is redirecting to docs.google.com but not to the full, uh, the full form that we have sometimes. So, okay, here we are. And as it's down, I am gonna click on create a new tag. I am not gonna publish uh, this container. And the reason why I'm not gonna publish it is because I'm not sure at all that it's working. So that's why I'm doing the preview and debug. And the other reason is that, of course, if I publish it, everyone will be able to send data to Matomo. And I don't want that because I'm not sure at all about what I define. So um, now let's move to the preview mode. So that's what we're going to have right now. So if it doesn't work, just press CTRL F5 because probably there's a cache issue here. Okay, so now we get it. So we have the MTM page view and I'm just going to check over here on which page did I add some docs.google.com on partner one. Okay, so I'm just going to go on partner one because this one's going to be a bit safer for me for the demo. And so let's go for the preview mode. And if I go normally down the page here, I can see clearly at the bottom that I have a doc.google.com uh, link. And what I want is to push the information options to associate your company. So I'm just going to do it like this. And if I click over here, I will see that nothing seems to have been fired. Well, that's unusual. Okay. Um, so trigger, no, trigger variables. Uh, click text, so it's okay. Interesting because I I clicked on it, but it seems that okay. Trigger, trigger tags. Okay, 
I'm gonna click twice maybe. I'm not gonna change anything, but okay. Um, let's see if Matt mode took it. Probably not, but we're gonna see. Okay, it does not take on it, and um, I think I know why. So on small, that's one of the reason why you go for preview mode is that you are never sure about what's gonna happen. And in our case here, docs.google.com. Um, so probably my trigger is not is not right. So docs.google.com. Hmm. Okay. So I'm just gonna investigate back over here. Link clicks equals. Okay, you see this is where um, I did it wrong. It's not an equal in my case. It's a contains. Okay. So it makes planes a lot of things. Okay. Uh, so if I go back now over here and that I refresh the page. Okay, and I go down the page like this. Okay, and now it's firing right. Okay, so that's great. And the good news for us is when we look at the variables, we saw that actually it was picking up the right value. So now if I look at my Matomo, Okay, I will see that it has sent the information form or documentation, intent to participate or more information, and then uh, the other uh, information that I wanted. So now this given interaction is tracked. So what I need to do is I need to do the same thing with other triggers and with other tags in order to measure all the other things that I wanted and that I listed here. Um, as well, just to let you know that Matomo has a feature which is called the annotation in order to say that you are currently working on the website. And that's really important because you don't want actually your colleagues or the other person working on the website um, to be, uh, let's say, kind of surprised if one given visitor is performing a lot of action. So here you are mentioning it uh, that I'm personally working on the implementation of the measurement plan. And I will say that's it uh, for the measurement plan. So really all your work is just to select a website, whatever it is, do this first work of looking at all the different interactions that you have an interest to track then ask yourself the right question. Is it critical? Is it hard according to you to deploy? Then define the measurement plan, which explains how you're going to define this out within Matomo uh, Tag Manager, in the case of uh, Matomo Analytics. And then you preview that. Um, and then you start to implement your measurement plan. And of course, you preview it before publishing it. So here in my case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to continue working on this measurement plan, which seems a bit more difficult than what I expected, because in some cases it does not um, send directly to a Google Form, but it's firstly, um, let's say, redirect to another uh, URL before. So uh, I thought at the beginning that it was, was going to be easy to track, whereas actually it was not the case. And I discovered that sense to the preview mode. So that's why you always need to use uh, the preview mode. And once everything is working fine within the preview mode, then you can have the meeting with uh, your client in order to uh, click on the publish button and, uh, and shake hands. And that's it uh, for uh, today's video. So I really hope that you enjoyed. Uh, feel free to really try to create your own uh, measurement plan and implement it. Once more, uh, thanks for watching and do not hesitate to share this uh, video with others.